Hey guys, welcome back to Why My 40k Rogue Trader. We are here. There's a Chaos Marine. Haven't seen one since the end of Act One, so this should be interesting. Can't tell what weapon he's using though. Power axe, chain axe. Not sure. But let's move up. Ooh, there's a trap. Uh, ferocious Hellbrute is spazzing out. I uh, don't know how to disarm this thing. Should be here. Don't see anything else? Las gun batteries are depleted. These people fought to the last breath. Okay. Let's get stooge. This thing concerns me. Not sure how that's going to turn out. But let's put Abelard here. Uh, Elliot. Do I want Elliot there? Oh, there's more of them now that we can see. There's Cultus. 16 of them. Nasty. Okay. There are other places we could have set up, but that's fine. So Elia can go there. I guess Stooge can go here. Abelard is up there. Jay can go here. Pascal. Put Pascal over here to keep an eye on anyone coming on this side. I think with Elliot here we get a decent line of sight to here and Stooge should be able to cover anything here. And they both should be able to look after this side too. And what do I do want to do with Cassia? Let's put Cassia here. Uh, okay. Let's I'm give Pascal an extra turn. Around. So what we want to do is drop a trap here. So stop them being able to charge through. If, if we can. Join analysis. Approved. And All right, that's tactical analysis, tactical knowledge there. Should give us quite a bit of uh, armor and deflection, I think. I don't quite remember now. Uh, let's just move on. Okay. Uh, well, I think what we're going to need to do is Isn't this a job buff Abelard. And then we'll try and pull them in, I suppose. Okay, that's fine. Eighteen damage, all right. If I may, and I think we'll put 
Who's next? J. Okay. That should be fine. So let's put back line down here. Damn it. Can't choose the direction. That's annoying. I'll Me. put back line here. Whatever. If you insist, Lord Captain. Uh, we'll put front line over here. And we'll move on. Let's go with voice of command for Stu. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Uh, let's drop. Rear. Don't get too cocky. Okay, now it's come like that. That's a bit weird. Take aim. And let's go. Okay, perfect spot. Aim for the opening. Nope, can't afford it. Okay. Did we even hit? 17 damage. Okay. I think that's it. This guy's coming down that side now. He does endure. Okay. 23. Not as much damage as I thought there would be. So that's good, I suppose. Alright. Now we're going to put opening. And we're going to drop exploits on him. Uh, now let's see. Do I hit? Can't tell if I'm going to hit the someone else okay never mind then all right much more damage 484 wowzers okay 85 damage pretty good nine right. elusive shadow now oh What is that sound? Operative removes all exploits to decrease the target's dodge, parry, and armor. Okay. Front line. Okay. Don't think there's much else I can do. Jeez, took out Abelard. That was nasty. <laughs> They're targeting the help group. Interesting, okay. I don't know if I triggered the fight too early. Perfect spot. Uh, let's go with the hunt. Uh, all the bold, I guess. So it's when it's a crit that uh, she gets an extra attack a turn. That's fine. Okay, let's do this. If I must. 
Hellbrute took a little bit of damage too. Okay. Trap on death. Favorable. Running by Neric override. Joint analysis, of course, tactical knowledge. Here. That hell brute was nasty. Can we? Can't. Targets with the reject the flesh feet just suffer 30 shock damage. If the target is a mechanism or a machine, it suffers 30 shock damage instead, and its characteristics are reduced by 30 until the end of combat. Okay. Might have to do that then. Doesn't look to have reduced anything. Ah, oh, that was nasty. Because it was slow, Abelard didn't get his stuff up, which was annoying. I can shoot the marine then, since. Okay, never mind. Let's trail him. Okay, well. Let's start with. Yep, okay. Can we drag him further away? Yes. Pascal. I guess we can give Pascal another turn. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Uh, let's shoot the Marine. Joint analysis. Don't remember if I used it or not, but it is what it is. It's fine. Buff Pascal. Again. Am I getting paid for this? Okay, now let's drop an opening. Miss. Force missed. Why would we not miss? Seventy-four. Nice. That was pretty solid. Okay. Not going to hit. There's too much cover in the way. Okay, can we reach? Yes, let's give Cassie a voice of command. This guy coming around the side is a bit concerning. Okay. Already has the opening, so let's do that. Get some exploits up. Yeah. Ooh, that is some nice damage. Now 
95 direct damage. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's just use Death Whisper on this guy then. Start having him tick his um, uh, his health down. So we've got that guy. Half cover on that side. That should be fine. So not trail him. Let's trail the hell brute then. Oh, that is scary. I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't like it. Maybe to shoot. Him. Okay, now I'm really riled. Woo! That is not good. Cultists are all targeting the hell brute. I wonder if I've messed something up by triggering the fight myself instead of um, walking into the uh, into I guess sight range to trigger them and see what happens that way. If there's some sort of cutscene or some other shenanigans that would have happened if I hadn't hard initiated the fight myself. Uh, it seems like it has a on the trail. I uh, thought it looked like that prey, but let's put prey on it. Monkey. I understand your intent. Forty nine. Okay. Uh. Going with the tactical knowledge. Okay. Running by Neric Override. Okay. What is that? Twenty four. Boundless Malice. The Hell Brute's damage is increased by 1% and so is his armor. Okay. Hemorrhage and let the galaxy burn. Eternal Hatred. Yeah, okay. It does have exploits. So. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Let's use this Point of curiosity didn't work really. Did two damage, okay. Eh? 
47 to 51. That's pretty decent. Okay, it's hit points have been reduced. Hmm. Okay. we could do this. Oh, I will lose in my sights there. Okay, so... Uh, that target... Oh, I'm not sure. Alright then, well... Reducing its toughness, I think, is what's reducing its, yeah. Okay. This marine is not going to be good though. doing a lot of damage to it now. Cultists are doing a hell of a lot of damage to it now. That's interesting. Castigating. Fusing, right. So we want castigating. Drag them all together. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. <laughs> HP wounds are back up to a thousand. That's interesting. Me. Cassia. It's much bigger. Never cross a Kazbalikin. That's decent. One sixty four. Bit less HP again. Don't get too cocky. Okay, that 
Muse, can you close up? Kill the one of them turned into a chaos one, okay. Alright, it's died. I'm not entirely sure that Cassia and Jay can take out the Marines left. That's for sure. Hellbrute dies. Cassia heals with 21 wounds. That's pretty good. Jay is out of range. Okay. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Lord Captain. Right. Let's go, Cassia. If I may. Point of curiosity. Okay. Didn't do anything to him. Fair enough. Okay. They can keep moving forward. Seventy-four. Yep. That's fine. Cassie is gonna have to hold the line. I'm not too fussed about the cultists because that should be okay. I can easily mop them all up. Chaos Marine is a bit of a concern. Dodge. Okay. That's fine. Doesn't drag them away. Where are you going, dude? Not a servitor. Okay. And we redo reveal the light again. What are our stats now? 119 toughness, 205 willpower, 104 perception. Pretty solid. Two 
255, that's fine. Dodge, nice. But she can tank the kit. That's perfectly fine, okay. Alright, this looks like it could be promising. Yep, absolute destruction. Let's go. 111. Man, Cassie is such a badass. Have I been using her wrong this whole time? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it is probably true that I've been using her wrong this whole time. Been afraid that she has she wouldn't be able to tank properly, but with reveal the light, I think she she seems to be able to tank the Chaos Marines pretty damn well. Now we just have to take care of the Chaos spawn. Let's drag it out. Nice. Oh, I can't hit them both. Really? Alright, fair enough. Ooh, almost. Isn't this a job for the serfs? actually funny because I was thinking oh I might have to reload this and and then the fight is going to take it might take quite a few goes to do the fight because the hellbrute's so damn big but seems like we should be okay nice see you later ah uh, Finest hour. Could do that. Let's take care of this guy first, though. Yep. Perfect. Full AP and MP, and there's no attack limit. Oh, I can't use it on myself. Damn it. Okay. Take and hold. Chooses one combat tactics area. Every ally inside that area. At the start of the grand strategist next turn. Uh, we can do that, I suppose. Don't have much else to do with my AP at the moment. Ooh, okay. Another chaos spawn. That's fine. Let's do this. I don't get why it runs that way. I guess maybe it's too big to fit through. Oh, it ran all the way around. Wowzers, okay. That was crazy. Okay. Nice. And we'll buff up. Okay. Is it not in range of... Damn it. Okay. Seems like. Let's move to here. Try and get a better angle on the point of curiosity. Oh, okay. I want to drag the Me. chaos ball. Yep, that's better. And we can. Pop it. Nice. 
And we'll buff up. I guess in the next few fights, we'll put Cassia right up front and see how she goes. Considering we lost Abelard right at the start. And then slowly got all our other guys whittled down. Seems like Cassia's the main main one that can tank, which has been interesting. Isn't this a job that our duty demands? Perfect. Emperor, give me strength. <laughs> Amazing. What a carry by Cassia. That is pretty damn epic, I have to admit. What a complete carry by Cassia. Can't believe I actually did that in without redoing the fight at all. That's kind of crazy. Hilarious, but still quite crazy. We have injuries galore, though, obviously. Save it here. <laughs> uh, okay, so anything else around here on the map? There's some loot there and some loot there, okay. I need no Farseer to guide my future. I think that's the only thing we're missing at the moment because I haven't brought Argenta. We're missing someone with actual proper demolition. And it's really hurting us. <laughs> it's costing us experience too, I think. Locomotives are fully operational. Where's this? Oh, the loot is over there. Right, I went the wrong way. Okay. That was dumb of me. Bodies of defenders seem to have exploded from me. Uh, that doesn't sound very nice at all. It sounds incredibly nasty, actually. A lot of cargo. Hmm, okay, that's cool. What a shameful failure. Alia? Okay. Jay managed to unlock it. 70. She did it on 43%. Not bad. Former warehouse of the planet's defenders. The crates marked provisions are empty and the weapons are simple and poor quality. Okay. Every day, a new opportunity. I bet that as soon as we come across something interesting, the greedy hunk of junk will crack along about the privileges of the Adeptus Mechanicus and try to lay his hands on the spoils. I am judging and disregarding the statement of the unworthy thief who has disrespected the privileges of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Ooh. Did he just rebuke us for taking oh, whatever was in that sarcophagus? Ah, <laughs> uh, that looks like it, so that was a very interesting fight. There doesn't seem to be anything else on this place. There's no exits, no doors or anything. None are better at searching. A block too. Yep. Okay. Failed it. Yeah. Twenty percent. Uh, I need to figure out demolitions now. The world is Otherwise, colors, we're just going to keep getting destroyed. What is it? Demolition. Forty-five. Twenty. Thirty-five. Fifty. Thirty. Fifty-five. Okay. Alright, well, 
since there's nothing, seemingly nothing else left here, and I don't know how to disarm this, not that I would be able to anyway, uh, we have injuries galore, so let's head back to void ship, and actually, you know what? Uh, in between heading back to the void ship and also and loading up everything, I'll do the level ups and then we'll show you which choices I made. So, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back and with Jay, oh, well, actually, with both Jay and uh, Cassia, I took the. Uh, Maximum number of action points granted by taken hold is increased to five. I don't really use many of the ultimate abilities other than finest hour, so we'll get through. Well, we'll try that at some point, I suppose. And as you can see, same one here. With Abelard, I took the uh, uh, the first one that says the Vanguard cannot die. That seems to be the best one in my opinion. Uh, with uh, Pascal, I took... Uh, which one did I take? I think I took the first one, yeah. Took the first one. Suffers... All prey suffer a penalty to armor. With Iliot, I actually went with... Uh, when the Bounty Hunter attacks exactly one target with Wild Hunt, the attack deals plus 300% damage. And then... With Stooge... Which one did I go for? Oh, the third one, yeah. Till the end of combat, whenever the assassin hits an opening, they gain uh, 10 wounds based on lethality, so at the moment it's 7. Okay. Now, let's have a look. So we're still making our way to Kiel Gamma. Wait for the situation to resolve itself. We have to go back to Footfall at some point anyway. Explore the systems of the Sinerus Maleficum. So that's... We have to fight Marajai. That one, we're, we're going there. Eldarian Distress, we're going there. Establish a new colony. Complete a development project of the highest difficulty in any colony. That one, I'm not sure. We'll be going back to footfall at some point and this one we're headed towards anyway okay so i think we'll just head to um start moving towards kiava gamma or the cranach system so let's do that uh let's check we visited everything here explored 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 Okay. Uh, we can't get to Tenebrous Aqua yet, so I guess we're moving to Emperor's Palm. Once we get to Cranach, what I will do is do the same thing, create a direct path from Telekos Epsilon to Cranach so we can move through uh, easier. We have 18. Let's make this unsafe. I don't want too many issues, so let's save it. Got 17 Navigator Insight, so got plenty to, to burn through. Just don't want to burn through too many in case there's some stuff there that we need to do. And of course we need enough to set up a safe route between the, our two home systems. The embrace enforcers from different decks of the Von Valencia's vessel report a terrifying sight. Skin of some crew members has become translucent, translucent, revealing knots of muscle and blood vessels beneath. Worse yet, small spider-like insects were seen scurrying inside of them, snow white and sparkling like ice. The transformed could not see this phenomenon in themselves or anyone else, only occasionally complaining about a prickly feeling in their extremities. Some were branded as mutants and killed. The survivors reverted back after the vessel emerged in real space. Okay, chart new routes. Alright, well, that's 
unfortunate, so we just have to chart routes to get to these systems. Alright. Unknown ships. Okay. And Euphrates has an interesting title, so that's going to be interesting to explore. Not sure what we're going to find there. More plasteel. Has anyone else noticed that from a certain angle that lump of rock looks remarkably like? Like what? Mistress Hedara, I speak on behalf of every officer currently on the Vox line when I state my total lack of interest in hearing the end of that statement. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, another scan, some free experience, more plasteel. Okay. Nothing here. This is the Forge World Euphrates II. It belongs to the explorators of the Cognizance fleet. They colonized us centuries ago. Unfortunately, we do not have we do not possess the privilege of landing here. Uh, why can I not go down on to the surface of this planet? This world is declared off-limits to the laity due to the sacred rites of the Adeptus Mechanicus being performed on its surface. I am afraid the restriction applies even to your lordship. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess we'll have to increase our reputation with them before we can land there. Uh, okay. Unknown ships. Uh, actually, I think this is a good place to stop. We'll head in to tackle the unknown ships in the next episode. Uh, we did... I was going to say we did quite a lot in the sense that that combat was quite tough, but let's be honest, Cassia did a lot. Avalide got eliminated really early and from there it was downhill until it was uh, just Cassia left and then she just destroyed everything so that was quite a quite a fun fun uh, combat but uh, yeah I think this is a good place to stop uh, celebrate that win <laughs> recover from the devastation of losing everyone else and being saved by Cassia and then come back in the next episode and uh, deal with these unknown ships so thanks a lot for watching see you then